Hi everybody, if you're watching this, that means it's time for the Sunday Makeup Basket of the Week. And um, you notice I didn't say debrief this time, and that's because I've decided to move the debrief part over to my blog at a2andu.com. And basically I've pulled out a few of my favorites for the week and call I'm calling it the weekly recap now. So I've got it up now. I'll put the link down below. And if you want to see um, what I thought or what my favorite products were for the past week, you can look there. You can look here. Um, on the YouTube channel for the new items that I'm going to use. Really working hard on using up items that I have. I don't know, I don't want to say that I'm on a no buy, but it's going to be difficult to restrain from buying because when things come out and they're new, I want to buy them. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I'm going to check and see if I have it in my collection first, look there, and then proceed. So basically, it, if something comes out and it's new, it's gonna to have to be pretty freaking fantastic before I go ahead and splurge on it. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Won't get into that now. Let's just go to the products. I wanna talk about two um, new things, not necessarily cosmetics, but related. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna be trying out this week is this Vichy Lift Active Retinol HA Concentrate New Generation Wrinkle Filler Treatment. So it's supposed to visibly fill wrinkles and give you younger looking facial features. Now I'm of the opinion, and this is mine and mine only, that um, topical products can only take you so far. And when you want to reduce your wrinkles and you want like visible, visible results, not only do you have to have an awesome skincare regimen, routine, you have to have your hydration down pat, your nutrition down pat, your exercise down pat, and you're probably going to be taking a trip to the dermatologist slash medical spa, medi spa, um, for some fillers and or some Botox. Um, and that's for people with pronounced wrinkles that want visible improvement. Of course, that's my opinion, but we're going to give this a try. Vichy products, um, I'm just kind of getting into them now, and I did a post on their Idelia serum. Um, it's on my blog. I'll put that post down below as well. Let's move on. The perfume I'm going to use this week is from my favorite, favorite, favorite line ever of perfumes, and it's uh, by Bond Number no. Nine. And this one's called I Love New York, um, and I do love New York. You know, I'm from New York. So Bond Number no. Nine, um, New York City, is a company that makes perfumes that all have a New York theme, and they come in these um, interestingly shaped bottles that are designer and some are collectible limited edition, and I love this one. I don't know if it talks about the, the notes in this one, but I will tell you that it is a gourmand scent. Um, so if you like fragrances like Flower Bomb or Angel, um, that, that oriental spicy, kind of yummy vanilla type fragrance, then you're gonna like this particular fragrance. Now, not all of the um, Bond number no. nines are like that. I have quite a few. Um, I have one that's a floral that I wear in the spring and summer. I have one that's another kind of uh, spicy and a red bottle, all sorts. Upper West Side, Upper East Side, they have all sorts of things. Um, and I love them very much. So the palette I'm using this week is a favorite of mine. It's my Too Faced Pretty Rebel. Just in case you don't know what it looks like, here's the colors in here. And if you watched any of my videos, especially when I talked about this before, you will know that this one right here whoop, is my favorite. And it is called Girly. It, and I think that's because it's a duo, like a duo chrome shadow, meaning that when you put it on your lid, it looks one way, and then you can turn your head and the light catches it and it becomes a completely different color. And I absolutely love that. I think it's fantastic. Lip gloss I'm using is from Korea. And I'm not sure if you pronounce this lineage, lineage, um, but this is from their Snow Crystal collection and it's called Cherry Pink. And yes, I do have a Korean cosmetics hookup, which um, I hope that connection never goes away because I love Korean cosmetics. My mascara duo is the one suggested by Stacey Sunnyside Makeup. It's the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara followed up with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. It's a great pair. I find it works very well. Uh, the primer that doesn't go away, 
Laura Mercier, if I don't get through this this week, I don't know. <laughs> if I do get through it this week, I'm going to use my Annabelle CC um, Instant Perfecting Base in Natural Finish. Had a very successful week last week with my Annabelle and Marcel products. Um, then for highlight, I'm going to use my Dior Amber Diamonds. Very popular. Just trying to use it up. Then blush, I gave myself two options. The Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Plum Wine, which I really, I haven't used this in a long time. And I apply this with a, blo uh, a blush. I apply this with a brush. Um, usually my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki um, or another kind of thicker, like a foundation brush. That's what I use to apply this. It's weird, but it works. And just in case that doesn't go well, um, I've got the Body Shop All-in-One Cheek Color in Flushed, which is more, it's more peach, but it's got um, shimmer in it. And I do, I do like this blush quite a bit. At first I thought it was rather plain, but I do enjoy it. Um, going to use my Dr. Jart, can't read the label hardly, BB Cream. <laughs> Love this stuff. Um, gone through tubes and tubes of it, so I'm hoping to kind of finish it up. For concealers, I'm going to go with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayons. I have one that's a neutral and one that's a warm because I find that I'm kind of in between. Um, and then, just in case I want to try something different um, or use something different, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer, which I adore. Drugstore products have been a huge hit with me, especially lately. I've been doing very, very well with them. For brows, I'm gonna switch it up, even though I love my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm gonna to try to finish up this glamorous eyebrow pencil. Obviously, that's not going to happen. You see how long the pencil still is. Yes, <laughs> okay. Lip gloss, I'm gonna use my Bourjois Rose Exclusive. This is the, um, I think they call it bespoke lip gloss where it uh, turns a special signature shade of pink when you apply it on your lips. Then my Maybelline 420 Deepest Cherry. Looks like that. Again, drugstore, love it. The um, Rouge Serum or Serum Rouge 860 from Dior. So love this lipstick. Um, use it when I need more hydration, but I just can't stand having to reapply and reapply and reapply and with that you have to do it quite often and then a new favorite which um is another gift from stacy sunnyside makeup is the essence all about mac uh, fixing compact powder this reminds me of the nars um slightly not totally nars translucent crystal but it's matte, like it doesn't have the crystal in it, but it's the same type. Like when I, I felt this one and then I felt that one, um, it feels the same. And speaking of the NARS, I don't think I've seen that translucent crystal power in a minute. I don't even know where I put that. Anyway, so that's my new products. Like I said, if you want the recap um, of my favorites from last week, you can go uh, on over to my blog and like I will put the link below, like I said. And I want to start, um, ending these uh, videos with a question. So, and that question is designed to get you to engage with me, engage with other people that watch me, et cetera, et cetera. So I wanna know this week's question, and you can leave your answers in the comment section below, is what are you looking forward to in terms of beauty products for this coming year? Um, is there anything that you've really got your eye on? Any techniques you're heading towards? Any big purchases in the near future? I would love to know. So leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.